Hello everyone, my name is Dolly. And I'm Ann. And we are back in the museum after a couple of months of working from home. And today we're in the collection space again. And Ann is going to be telling us a little bit about our political button collection. Uh, politics is uh, kind of in the news right now. We just had an inauguration. I know from years of working in museums that political advertising and political buttons have been a thing for a long time. And so now we're going to show you some of the political buttons we have in our collection. So this is a type of ephemera that the Mosesick Museum collects. And these buttons are brand new to us. This is from the Dr. Ruby collection. He collected political ephemera from over the years, all the political parties. He didn't just pick the one he was affiliated with. So if you want to come in closer, Erin, we'll take a look at some of these buttons. So here's a button that we have from when Johnson ran for president. And that would be Lyndon Johnson. <laughs> there we go. Go. All right. And then here's one from Dwight D. Eisenhower's campaign in the 1950s. It's so little. It's very little. <laughs> Dr. Ruby has a lot of things from the Eisenhower campaign. Let's see what else we have here. Here's one from MacArthur. This is very, very, can I go? <laughs> Sorry. And then here's one of our oldest buttons in the collection. Do you, who do you think that could be, Dolly? Let's see, let me get closer and look through my bifocals. That looks like some turn of the 20th century politician. I'm going to go with Taft. That's who I was thinking was Taft. <laughs> they all kind of looked alike back then. <laughs> and as you can see, like conditions, when you know when the buttons get older, we do have some conditions issue, like with this one with the rust. Yeah. But it's still a very, very cool button. Let's see what else we have in here. I like that this has never been used. Yes. It's obviously, he just collected things to save them and keep them forever. And we love ephemera collectors who do that for us. <laughs> yeah, and here's one for Nixon. And as you can see, all our little buttons and things are in little bags with the number of the items. This collection is still in process. So I haven't got to individually number everything yet with string tags. So that's why we've been hesitant to only take out one button at a time. But as you can see, we have tons and tons. Here's another Johnson one. And then I'm for Nixon. So as we were saying, Dr. Ruby collected political ephemera from all the different decades, I believe starting in the 1950s until he passed away in the 2000s. So thank you guys very much. If you have similar collections or have any questions about how to preserve pinback buttons, always, you know, give us a call. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.